You need to chill out. Just because I warm up the car in the morning, you think you get to go somewhere. Don't head tilt me. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Good morning, YouTube. My name is Will. The bigger one is Enzo. The tanner one is Lotus. And they're gone. Guys are getting a little rusty. We're gonna have training days this week. Break. Lotus, you coming? Oh, squirrel ran up the fence. How can I climb a fence? Oh, way up the fence now. But I'm not a quitter. Okay, now I quit. Really hope that baseball field's frozen. So, welcome to the first vlog of 2020. Lotus, get out of the dugout. Oh, there goes the squirrel again. Lotus, come. Oh, good boy. Did you get them squirrel? So as I was saying, as Lotus uh, chases all the squirrels into the new year, this is the first vlog, not only of 2020, but also the first vlog in a series of 30 straight days. Lotus, we're done. Come. Thank you. Can only imagine what your paws look like at this point. Lotus, come. Calm. Break. See what I mean about training day? Getting a little rusty. That's my fault. I've been taking it easy for the holidays. So to give you guys a little bit of a background, basically, we've had some really nice weather throughout like Christmas and stuff. It was like 50s and 60s. I was outside washing the car and I felt good doing this because I was like ahead on everything. I was ahead on work stuff, I was ahead on videos. And I was like, you know, maybe I should consider doing like a third video a week or maybe a fourth video a week. And I was kind of thinking, I was like, but then like you're, you're like afraid, you're like, well, I don't want to commit to something like that and then not follow through with it. So then I thought, well, what would make me commit to it is if I just said I would do it every day, then it, there's no such thing as an off day. So I don't know why that seemed like the brilliant idea. Uh, so here we are. I really wasn't worried about it though. I, I did daily videos back last summer on my personal channel. I was naive enough to think these would be easier because they're just vlog videos. It's just what we're doing that day. And last night I'm like going to bed and I tell the wifey, I'm like, I may have been a little too ambitious on this. The issue with doing a vlog every day, the way I have it structured is I have to do the video every day. In the past, I could shoot two, three, four videos in one day edit them, post them, and I could actually get to a point where I was several days ahead on videos even though I was releasing them every day. I can't do that with this, so. Should be fun, but I can promise you this. Unless I end up in a hospital, you will have a video every day for the next 30 days. Right, Enzo? Even if, that, even if I have to make you in charge of editing, I'll make Lotus in charge of Entertainment, clearly. I just strapped the GoPro to you. Have you follow Lotus around? Maybe we'll have Rally edit. Boys, what you think? I know we're walking backwards. Too far. Enzo, too far. Okay, I think we're alone now. You guys wanna walk the normal way? I don't really like this whole walking backwards thing. Let's turn. Oh, always gotta be a race. Lotus, come. Break. Boy. 
Now, if some of you watched the Christmas video from a couple days ago, you know that I got a new zoom lens. Hopefully we can get some more close-up shots of the pups. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. For those of you who don't know, this is our normal park that we go to. It's pretty close to our house. Um, we come here probably 20 to 30 times a month. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, that's like every day, you're correct. Um, we usually do like two activities a day. We do a morning one and we do an afternoon one or like a late afternoon, early evening. Um, oftentimes we do this one in the morning because again, it's close. A lot of times it's not even like daylight when we get here. It's usually like sunrise before we leave, but we usually try to get here like right around just before sunrise. I wanted to wait a little bit though. because I was like, well, I can't really film in the dark. We are not playing fetch. For one, we did it yesterday. For two, we got a busy day today. You guys are gonna be pupped out. Let me just tell you. Being that this is the first vlog, I was like, oh, let's go to a, a new park or one of the parks we don't go to that often. Make it a little bit more exciting for you guys who have been watching for a long time. Also, just more exciting for the pups because we've been, the holidays have been so crazy. We haven't gone to a lot of different parks over the last week pretty much just been our normal park. But we got a lot of stuff to do today, actually. Lotus is gone. It's on the squirrel hunt. Oh, he's in attack mode. There he goes. And he's off again. So we have like what, our, what I call like our normal park trip. And that is we come here and we usually do about four laps. Four laps is a little bit more than a mile. And that's just kind of like our normal thing. Now, sometimes we'll come here, we'll play fetch. Sometimes we'll come here if maybe we only get to go once that day for some reason or whatever, I don't know, whatever the reasoning may be. Uh, we might do five or six laps if we can't go out into the field. Sometimes we'll do like a mixture. We'll throw the ball around, we'll do some laps. Today we're just doing the laps and we're just doing four because as I was saying, we've got a lot of stuff going on today. We have to take down the Christmas lights. It's supposed to start raining late afternoon. Meanwhile, Enzo's over here like, dude. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna do our four laps, we're gonna go home. I'm gonna kinda do some stuff that I have to take care of. I have to go to the bank, I have to, to just, you know, like normal life stuff that has nothing to do with pup stuff. Although I do have to make a chewy order. Lotus, come on. You gotta let it go. You gotta accept the feet sometimes. He says, never. We'll never let it go. I got the obsessions. Lotus. 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 Oh, hey. Hi. Heel. Break. Let me try to get this giant stick. Oh, I think he got it. Wow, that is big. Oh, Enzo, you gonna come help? I'm gonna go back again. Ow, you hit my leg. And we're done with the stick, I guess. I haven't peed on anything in a minute. Let me go ahead and do that. So anyways, after I take care of my life things that I have to do real quick, run to the bank, off. I don't even, I don't even know. Then we're gonna take the Christmas lights down. The weather app says it's not supposed to rain till like three, four o'clock, but let's be honest, that's not, I can't trust that. And I want them to be outside with me when I do it. I hate doing stuff outside and not letting them outside. It seems like counterintuitive. 
You know, it's like, well, if I'm gonna be outside, might as well let you guys outside. Which also explains why our backyard is a complete muddy mess. Yeah, so we're gonna do, I think we've done two laps so far, right? Yeah, two laps. We did one, and then we turned around. Did we do two, or have we done three? No, we've done more than one. Lotus, the idea I think is to guess a lower number. Anyways, we're gonna do a couple more laps and um, pick up with you guys as we end Christmas. People are still off work. Normally, this time of year, we go to the park. We pretty much own the park from like November to March. So nobody goes to the park, but these couple weeks around the holidays, we kept running into people, kept having to turn around and go different directions and stuff, which somebody asked that in the comment. Wow, truck, are you gonna back up into me? Somebody in the comments for last night's post did ask about that. Like, what do we do with Lotus when I don't have him on a leash and he's reactive? Um, it depends on the situation. Like mornings like this where I don't really intend to do any training or anything. It's just kind of like to let them burn off some energy and have some fun. Uh, a lot of times we'll just we'll just turn around um, I'll, or I'll distract him in some other way. We'll play fetch. Like if we're playing fetch, he doesn't care. Um, he has a, a bubble that is getting smaller. Uh, you know, when six months ago, his bubble was like 100 yards. If he saw a dog 100 yards away, didn't matter what he was doing, drop everything, be reactive. That bubble's getting a lot smaller these days. It's still something to be mindful of, but it they gotta be a lot closer. And um, so yeah, I mean like mornings like this, I have a leash with me. I always have leashes with me. You just don't necessarily see them. And if I have to, I'll just stop and put them on a leash. I mean, it's happened before where we're walking and there's really nowhere for us to go in a different direction. So I'll just stop and put a leash on him. You know, it's not a big deal. But if I can avoid it in situations like this, I will just go a different way. Unless, like I said, we're out doing training, at which point I've already got a leash on him anyways. Oh, sure. Take your time. Go potty. Oh, good boy. Got them sleepies from resting. Get in. Watch out. What's the tail? Thank you. Ears. Boy. It's rare that he uh, stays standing up the whole time. Buddy, what you doing? He has no idea. We're about to see mama. It's... Originally, I was going to run my errands without any pups. But I left my wallet in her car. So I figured I'd take him with me. Plus, I gotta go in PetSmart and get Rally some food. She's gonna be... You don't want to make Rally mad. That that never ends well. Didn't expect to have you on the video today. Oh, kisses? Oh, don't, honey. Cussy mama? Yeah, cussy mama. Let me see. Come here. Hi. I let him out, but I don't know that you want fur all over you. Nice. Come on, this isn't fair. Bye, Bubba. She's got to go back to work. Say, one of us has to earn a living. Somebody's got to have a real job. Probably should have asked her where she parked so then we don't have to play the uh, find the car game. Drive around beeping the remote or something. I'm just kidding. I know where she parks. Just a second, buddy. <laughs> Not a moment too soon to get my wallet back because we have no gas. And just pretty much like, if you get out of this car one more time without me, there will be a price to pay. Heal. Hello. Hey, pretty baby. Heal. Heal. You know what? I think. Heal. We're on the wrong side of the store. Cat food's on the other side, bud. And so heel. 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 
Yep. Enzo, heal. 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 Enzo, sit. Alright, Enzo, help me find the one that looks like Rally, okay? Ragdoll? No, she's not Ragdoll. Heal. Right. Come. Sit. Alright, I thought I was going crazy, but they're out of it. So... We'll get a little small bag. Just the adult. Man, good thing we didn't place our Chewy order yet. Yeah. Got the ad hers on there. Hi, right, buddy. Heal. I wish I could have filmed, but I had no hands free. Oh, you got hand free? Thanks. You shake. And Zoe's doing such a good job in the checkout line. Just sitting there watching the other pups come in and out to get groomed. Uh, they did not have Rally's food. So we had to just get indoor. I guess I'll order her some as well, but I did not realize she has like enough for dinner tonight and that is all. So definitely had to go get her some. Lunch. There's yours. All right, so as I give them lunch, I thought I would take this opportunity to go over some of the Q&A you guys left on Instagram. If you guys wanna leave questions for tomorrow's video, I'll post a photo here tonight, well, about the time this video is going up and you guys can do that. Uh, I know I answered one already, but let's see. Uh, how to pick a breeder. That's really hard. Um, if I was to go back in time, the way I would do it is I would go to multiple breeders and kind of just get a feel for it and see, and you'll start to see like things you like and things you don't like. Um, you know, it's really, you kind of just gotta go by the feel. Unfortunately, there's not like a good website or anything that like keeps track of all these and frankly anybody can do it unfortunately so it's really hard uh i answered the one about going on a walk, walk raised feeding um i'm not sure what that question means it was posted by the hubble um maybe if you want to clarify that i'll answer it tomorrow at what age should you expect full attention from your pup? That really depends. Uh, I mean, just like a kid, with, as they get older, they're going to get better and longer attention spans. Lotus has always had really good eye contact, and that's also something I've always worked with him from the beginning that I didn't do with Enzo that I wish I had. Would Enzo's be better if I worked with him when he was younger? Probably. Uh, would it be as good as Lotus's? I don't know. Lotus has that kind of like, I want to please you type drive that Enzo is kind of just more like whatever. Um, resource, guarding issues and prevention, please. Guarding issues and prevention. Guarding issues and prevention. Oh, like guarding like their food and stuff maybe is what you mean? Um, if it's a pup, definitely like, you know, I'm not doing it right now, but like when they're, especially like in those first several weeks, you know, mess with them and stuff. As far as their food, pulling their ears, pulling their tails, gently. Don't do it hard. You don't want to hurt them, but just enough to know that, because those are their defensive zones. You know, their ears and their tail are vulnerable, so they're going to want to protect those. So if you're gentle with them like this and stuff, they pay no mind to it. But yeah, sorry, I think I'm holding it a little too high for you. Sorry. Um, I have messaged you requesting some guidance. Uh, the wife will, if she hasn't already, she'll respond to that. She does all the DMs and such. Uh, panosteitis. My poor little guy was just diagnosed. Yeah, that's rough. Um, it's basically growing pains is what it is. We do Dasequin and we do like a fish oil. Uh, they are linked in every one of the YouTube videos. So, and they'll be linked in this one. You can scroll down under like the food section. It's also on their website under the food section if you want to check it out there. And then uh, furthermore on that, one of the things we did when Enzo, Enzo went through it a lot, Lotus not as much, is we would really limit the high impact stuff when he was going through that. So like the, the fetch and everything, that's why we always kind of limit that more with him. Um, 
you know, there was a time when it was bad with him where, I mean, we would pay, play fetch. I mean, if we went to play fetch, I'd throw it like three, four times maximum, and we might do that like once a week. Um, now that he's a little older, I'm not as worried about it, but there was a long time like that where that's basically what we did. Boys, I'm trying to do Q&A. I know you don't care. Uh, let's see, difference between a good dog food brand and a bad one. I'm not an expert on this. We've, we started with Royal Canaan, that's what we still use for Rally. We switched them to Gentle Giants. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, if you've done enough research, uh-uh, you know, you know better. You haven't messed with the mic in a very long time. You boys are getting ridiculous. Just trying to do a little Q&A. There's so much poor data on dog food because there is so much poor data on human food. Um, they can't even figure out human food really, so let alone dog food, unfortunately. You know, there's certain, certainly definitely some obvious things you wanna look out for, like what they call like the fillers and such. Um, if they have like huge amounts of grain in them, not much meat and so forth. <laughs> You need to chill with the shadow game. So like I said, I mean, we switched to Gentle Giants. There's not like necessarily like hardcore science data behind it. It's just, they have a lot of old pups, like really old, like teen, like high teens, low 20 pups. And they've got tons of them. Lotus, dude, just chill. Chill. So that's why we switched to that. And when we switched though, Enzo loved it. Um, I like that it's not greasy feeling. And I like that it smells good. It smells like food. Speaking of food, Lotus is hunting for something. Uh, what are Enzo and Lotus's favorite things? Car rides, tummy rubs, park visits alone or with each other. So as you just saw in the video, Enzo and I will go alone to some places sometimes. I think Enzo likes that. Enzo, Enzo does like Lotus. There's no doubt about that. He is, he definitely perks up. Lotus! If Lotus is gone, like to the bed all day or something, like he definitely perks up with Lotus. Lotus, stop! The odds of you scratching the floor is small, but I don't want to find out. But Lotus would, Lotus's world collapses when Enzo leaves. <laughs> which is why sometimes I do it even more just to kind of get him to where he's not like that. Um, but like toy wise, Enzo is, is glow ball, hands down. Lotus is his antler, hands down. Uh, or, or anything that Enzo has, Lotus also loves. Uh, Enzo also likes like soft chew toys and such. Um, they, they obviously they have no problem with car rides. I know some dogs have problems. Lotus, sit down. Jeez. I know some pups have problems with car rides. They've been doing car rides since the day we got them. So they've never had issues with it. Enzo just loves to go wherever we go. He's just, he's perfectly content not going anywhere. Like if we just have to like run to like pick up food or go to the pharmacy or somewhere and drive throughs, he's perfectly fine. He'll just tail along, no problem. Um, how do you work with your pup when you have an older but still young fur baby in the house? I don't want him to feel neglected. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, and that's kind of like what Enzo and I were doing today as well, going out in public is, you know, it is hard. It's like, excuse you. Sometimes you feel guilty leaving them, but really sometimes you, you just have to. I mean, you know, to work on training, you really just have to train one at a time. And that's kind of unfortunately how it is. Um, as we're doing the daily vlogs, you guys will see that more. One of the things you guys don't see as much in the videos is you don't see me do work on training with them. Um, because I'm not going to make a whole video about training because people don't generally watch those as much and such. So I just don't record that information as much. Lotus, just chill. Chill out. It's okay. And then meanwhile, Enzo's just sitting here, all content. Enzo's just, Enzo's just sitting here all content, no problems. All right, camera battery died, um, but we're almost done. Um, 
first few days as a puppy owner, um, that I don't know if that's what the question is there, but uh, they're rough, they're tired, it's like the first few days with a baby. Uh, you're not gonna get much sleep and you're gonna be overwhelmed. How do you get your pup to be more focused on you when other dogs are around, when treats are around? You're driving me insane. You know, our dogs went through off-leash training and that's something that I always strongly suggest people do as well. And that, I mean, that's not really, those two things really aren't hard things to overcome. They just take time is really what it is, you know. Enzo and I, you saw we were in PetSmart today, we are in checkout, that part you didn't see because I couldn't film checkout and everything. But like he's sitting there, other dogs are coming in and that's something that you know, when we first got him trained, that's still something he couldn't do. That took a lot of time and practice. Hello, good new year, food with or without cereals? Food with or without cereals? I don't, food with or without cereals. I don't know what that means exactly. Um, I'm thinking based on just kind of the grammar here that you're not from the US, so there might, I might be just not understanding what you mean by that. Uh, that was by Roberto Soul Hello. So if you want to clarify that for tomorrow, so I'll be happy to answer it. Um, supplements, I already covered that just a minute ago. Uh, different types of colors of German Shepherds. Uh, there are lots of different types. Obviously, Enzo and Lotus are different. Um, you can get all white ones. You can get all black. You can get all sorts of varying different combinations. There are tons of them out there. Um, it's really going to depend on the breed, like the breeder and like the lineage on that. You can get short hair, you can get long hair. There's a lot of different ones. You have a video that has a small grid, like a gate. They don't jump. Is it possible to train a son to jump to the street? Uh, I mean, as Lotus literally hops out of shadow. I think what you're talking about is the black gate I will sometimes pull across the driveway. Uh, I do that when I'm outside washing the car just so I don't have to constantly worry. You know, Lotus, you always gotta kinda keep an eye on. And so I'm not really worried about him going up there um, but it's just one of those things that when I'm washing the car and I'm coming in and out of the house a lot, it's just, I, I just want to know that I don't even have to worry about it or constantly be like checking and stuff. So that's why I do that. That gate is very tall. Um, that gate is probably like five feet tall. I mean, it's taller than our actual fence. In fact, um, I don't think they could jump that because it's also, you probably can't tell in the videos, but our driveway goes uphill. So I really don't think they could, even if they wanted to. Um, but jumping, um, as far as training them not to jump to the street, let's say theoretically they could jump it. I don't know how you would really do that per se. Um, really, I think a lot of it comes down to you got to, like sometimes, for example, I'll put a baby gate downstairs. Enzo can jump that easily. And he knows he can jump it. Now I got the squeak toy. But yet he'll just, he'll abide by it because he knows I put it there and everything. So a lot of that comes down to not necessarily making your dog do something is because you can't make a dog do anything. You can only want, you can only, they have to choose to do it. Same with humans, you can't make a human do anything. Um, they have to want to do it. And I think a lot of that comes down to if you've got a dog that keeps maybe jumping out of your fence a lot and like going, maybe your guard's not big enough. Um, maybe there's something that they're obsessed with. Maybe you should take them outside the fence and kind of put them on a little bit longer leash, like a training leash that's a little bit longer, give them a little more free reign, see where they go. Maybe there's just something that's just driving them towards something. Um, maybe you've just got a dog that just no matter what is always gonna wanna jump fences and run. In that case, uh, you just might have to build a bigger fence. Uh, so that's it for all the Q and A. Um, again, these are, I'll post the photo tonight, right around the time I'm posting the video. So if you want to go on their Instagram and post questions, I will sit here or sit somewhere and read them tomorrow's video as well. Squeaky squeak. Squeaky squeak. Meanwhile. Um, so anyways, um, Instagram, it's on the screen right now. It's also in the about section of the YouTube page. So if you want to go there, it's just that Enzo and Lotus. So after the video or sometime, sometime before. Ah! 
Anyways, um, there's also links to like everything's on the about section, the PO box, the Instagram, the Facebook. We have a Patreon now. If you guys want to um, become a patron, you can do that. A patron, you can do that. Uh, there are some additional perks that I'm working on with that. So if you guys want to do that, otherwise I'm going to eat lunch now and then hopefully you're going to calm down for a minute because we still got to go take these Christmas lights down. It's already 121. I'm way behind. Daily vlogs continue. Wait. Don't you even start. Oh crap. <laughs> I was just about to say how we're a little later, but we're doing okay because the rain hasn't come and would you look at that? Well, you can't see it, but <laughs> the rain is coming. All right, we're gonna have to hustle. Did just finish editing every part of the video up to this moment right now. The Q&A took longer than I felt like it did. It was like 15 minutes. Um, let me know what you guys think of that. If you like that in each video or not. And uh, I mean, if you guys are cool with it and you guys want that, I don't care to do it. I just, I don't know that you guys want a 15 minute section Q&A every day. Uh, maybe I need to read the questions ahead of time so I can answer them faster. I don't know. We're gonna hustle. I probably won't record a whole lot of this. But yeah, we got to hustle. Gotta wait for the conversations to stop so I can get back to work now. All right, this is gonna take me way longer than I thought. It's gonna go crazy. almost all vibrate very little stimulant lotus too far come i know now there's somebody walking down the street mm, hold on. we're gonna do it again heel Too much going on this time of day, unfortunately. Just too much. Wait. Lotus, too far. All the threats gone. All right. You boys are all grassy. Look at all that. Enzo, you too. You're a little damp. It's just great. What am I gonna do with you boys? I'm gonna do with you boys. I'm still not even close to being done. There's no way this tree's getting done today. That's for sure. Unless one of you guys wanna like, you know, help. No. Oh say daily vlogs